everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new i'm just finishing up getting ready at the moment steve and i decided that we were going to kind of have like a little date to day date night so i want to bring you guys along because this is obviously the kind of stuff that like we don't typically do it's like different from our day to day and every time i ask for like video recommend recommendations on instagram i feel like seeing different parts of our life or like other things or things to do in Italy is something that you guys always request. So now that we are kind of breaking out of a normal routine for today, I want to bring you guys along. We did already go to the gym this morning and then we came home and showered and I just quickly threw on some makeup and then quickly just ran the straightener through my hair. So my hair is not as straight as it typically is, but that's okay because we're just trying to like leave. Um, but I need to pick out an outfit. It feels amazing outside right now. I think it's like 58 clear skies, super sunny. And it's going to be like the last sunny day before we have like a week of clouds and rain. So we want to be outside today and just take advantage of this gorgeous day. It's a Saturday and it just feels so good outside. The lighting is not the best in here, so I'm sorry. But this is what I was thinking it's just kind of like a cropped white tee with like a nice like collar v-neck um and then blue jeans like i said it does feel good there's a little bit of wind so long sleeves for that and then we're also like touring a castle today so i don't want to get like too hot or too sweaty so i do feel like this is light in case like we have to go uphill because we've toured a castle before where to get to the castle you need to park and then hike it up a hill for a few meters so um i think i'm gonna try this on and then i will wear it with my little white shoes if you live in italy or maybe even europe in general you see everyone wearing these like white adidas shoes everybody wears them everywhere you go and if you haven't noticed it yet when you go out start paying attention to what shoes people are wearing it's like those white adidas or new balance a lot of people wear new balance because the roads everywhere are cobblestone so you need a really good like flat walking shoe but anyways okay this is what i'm thinking i'm gonna try this on and show you guys all right so we got the fit on and now i am accessorizing i kind of like it kind of don't like it i don't completely hate it so or hate it enough to like want to change i asked steven what he thought and steven said he liked it and steven's wearing all black so he was like it contrasts my outfit um but i'll show you guys in the mirror whenever i'm done putting on my earrings i really don't take the time to like accessorize too much even though i love accessories i feel like the most i'll ever do is just do these little gold hoop earrings that like i wear all the time but today i added this little uh three chain necklace and I think this is okay and then i still have to add a lip as well also try not to be one of the girlies that like put both of my hair behind my ears because that's who i am but i'm trying not to be but i feel like when they're both out i don't know i feel like that changes my face i don't know i try to at least do one and then leave one in the front okay i think this is cute i just have this jeffree star velour liquid lipstick in the shade celebrity skin it's like a really nice just like nude color it's one of my favorites okay so this is the fit it was a crop shirt jeans and my white shoes don't mind the unmade bed i think it's cute it's very basic i have definitely learned when i've like been shopping recently is that i am just trying to go for neutrals and then i'm able to like mix and match and that way i feel like i actually have clothes to wear versus for a long time i felt like i had no clothes to wear because i would always buy like colored things like those things that you can wear not one time but like those things that are like statement pieces and then i would complain that i had nothing to wear so i started buying a bunch of neutral colored clothes until i kind of find like my sense of style and the things that i like so then i don't have to complain that i have nothing to wear this is the fit, this is the fit. Yeah, can we get um, a water for the road though? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Making sure that we've got everything before we leave. And I don't even know if I told you guys. My backpack broke. So I am purseless right now. So I've been rocking my little belt bag that Jamie got me for my birthday. Um, yeah, until I can find a new one, which I loved that bag. It was a leather backpack. It fit all of my necessities in it. And then it broke. It broke last saturday so like a week ago from today we were walking out of the movie theater and it was strapped up on my shoulder and i just felt like a little like release i guess and i looked down and i was like the strap broke so i've been 
needing a new one and i have other purses but all of my purses are like accessory bag purses they're not like everyday bags um so i've just been rocking this and when i need things i've been like i have a little pile over here on the bookcase of like all of my purse necessities that i just can't fit in here at the moment so i'm carrying the bare necessities with me and i don't like it i am one of those people who have like a mini first aid kit and like hand sanitizer and like i keep like little extra medicines for steven inside like etc or something like that like i am like the mom friend of the group i keep everything inside my purse and so having to be with the bare minimums i don't like it golden hour right now and it looks absolutely stunning i can't wait to see inside and then we just saw people at the very tippy top as well so i'm very excited for doing this today we're heading into the castle now we're gonna get a ticket i think it's only three euro we got our tickets and let's see what's inside We're heading upstairs now to see what it looks like up from the top. Oh wow. Absolutely beautiful. Whoa. I feel like I just got transformed into like another dimension, like another <laughs> another century. Wow. This is King, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but Antonio Foscarini, Foscarini. Wow. A giant fireplace, fit for a king, I suppose. Holy moly, that chandelier. Wow. Maybe another king, or he's kind of, has like a knight armor on. So maybe he was a knight. Holy cow. And the view out into the courtyard. My gosh. It, you know, until you see stuff like this, you, it's like you kind of forget that there are literally were kings and queens and you know that medieval era before the world is what it is now. I come into the other room and I see Steven taking a selfie with the knight. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What do you think? Oh, no, 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 I haven't seen him yet. Obviously, it's still like winter. Oh, yeah, I see him. They're not there. like in season right now, but you can see all the vineyards as they keep on going out there. And there's a courtyard we came through. God. I want to try that. I want to try that restaurant this tree right there. Right here. We're like <laughs> almost the same height as that tree. That's crazy. <laughs> We're super high. <laughs> Steven got his wish and he wanted to eat at this restaurant really bad and I'm not complaining because the view is just, it's stunning. You guys, the birds are still chirping, the vineyard right there, and then you guys saw like we just walked through there. It's 
breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. I'm living my best life right now. And I have the best date here. <laughs> I love you. I love you. It literally still baffles me that like this is our life sometimes. Yeah. We're just living in Italy. Yeah, living our best life. Yeah. That's it. That's where we were at. We were all the way up there, you guys, where the flag is waving. Yeah. And we're coming up to this archway that we have to drive through, and it is super tight. Super tight, you guys. It's like one uh, car at a time, but holy moly, like my car is a normal size SUV, you know, for the States. Yeah. But here it is very close to touching the edges. It's a beautiful drive. I stopped recording a video a little bit earlier so I could make sure she didn't hit the wall. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was super stressed tight. out. All right, look. Okay, okay there's not a car down. coming. Okay. You're good on our side. Am I? Yeah, you got plenty of room. Okay. Good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Woo. It's not the first time that we've had issues like that. No. In the Jeep, we did it one time and all of our sensors were going crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah. But I'm happy that we brought my car because my car, I've mentioned it before, is kind of like the beater car. We don't <laughs> care if it gets scratched, dinged, whatever. So I don't even know if Steven's Jeep probably would have fit through there. Yeah, that would have been super tight. Gosh, it was such a gorgeous view, a gorgeous day. Like that was truly amazing. If you guys live in the area, like for any of like my Aviano people that follow me, you have to come to this castle if you haven't already. It's absolutely breathtaking. I don't even know if I said, we are in Canigliano for the day and I don't know if I'm saying that right. So if you're Italian, let me know if I'm <laughs> saying that right or not. But it was truly beautiful. Even the drive up there was breathtaking. You're going on these winding roads and through the vineyards and this place is probably gonna look even more beautiful come springtime once the vineyards are like blooming and flowers are blooming. We actually saw a blueberry tree. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Look at that view. I still can't believe we looked out here. I'm just mad that it took us so long to come out and actually check this castle out. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely be coming back though. Yes. Hello, cutie pie. Hello. So we are at the Gammon, which is one of our favorite restaurants right now. Favorite. It only took us like a year and a half to even realize it was here. Well, we knew it was here. It was a long time for actually trying eating. It's here. literally right outside the base. Yeah. Like right outside the base, and yeah. we just never. Came. Yeah, and we like it. it's got a lot of different options. Um, obviously, if you come here, they're going to have the Italian menu, but they also have the English version because so many Americans like coming to eat here. And they cover a bunch of different foods. They got like our club sandwiches, which we love to eat, but they also got like cheeseburgers, regular burgers, sandwiches if you want that. Um, I've also tried the ribs here, and the ribs are fire if you guys like your ribs. And they have a little bit of German food too. Yeah, they got like little bratwurst and cheesy bratwurst and stuff. Um, and then of course they're gonna have the regular like, you know, pizza appetizers and stuff like that, which is really good. When we get our food, we'll definitely show you guys what it looks like because it's so good. Something we do right off the bat, I don't, didn't do it this time, but typically I'll get two waters. Um, they'll bring me two waters, Brittany will get her Cokes, and then I'll get one Pepsi because after you order your drinks and stuff, they'll leave and they won't come back. I don't even think that's anything that I've ever talked about before. Like dining out at restaurants here in Italy is so different than dining out at restaurants in America. Um, but just in the essence of like in America, you're constantly checked on, hey, do you need anything else? Can I get you a refill? Things like that. And that is not like that here in Italy. They come, they get your order, and you better order everything at the same time because you will not see them again. They will bring you your food and then they will come again. And the reason that they do that is because they find like dining in together is very like a very intimate moment. They don't want to keep interrupting you or anything like that. And they don't even bring you your check. Like when you are ready to go, you go find out where to pay at the cash register and then they tell you your total and everything. Oh, yeah. Like that. And they'll give you one of these. It's like a little receipt with like your drinks on it and your table. And what they do is that when they take your order, they put all the food onto one check and they assign it to that table. So if you lose this, you gotta like tell them which table you are so that way they can find you. Yeah, it, it's definitely different. And if you guys want like a video on it, or I can even include it in like things to know before we moved here, like I need to do part three to that series. Um, Cause it's definitely different. And so yeah, we've learned. I get two cooks because you see like, they bring your drinks like right away, but we don't have our food. So we'll keep like drinking and everything like that. We kind of learned that like we need to order two of drinks because by the time our food gets here, we're out of our first drink. <laughs> All right, now let's enjoy our drink and chit chat, little bug. For an appetizer, I got chicken nuggets, of course, and then Steven got mozzarella balls. <laughs> and then something that's actually different here yeah. is they do not come with like 
um, marinara sauce, like that's common in the States. So Steven had to ask for tomato sauce is what they call it here. But this is the same tomato sauce that they put on a pizza. So it's <laughs> not like the kind of stuff that like, we're used to in the States, but Steven really enjoys it. Yeah. If you enjoy a good club sandwich, this is the place to come. Look at that. It's got eggs, bacon, lettuce, tomato. I got turkey in mine and cheese and then french fries. These fries are so good and then it comes with a little sauce, but I don't really like any type of condiment, so I get it on the side and give it to Steven. Mm -hmm. And then Steven, what type of sandwich is this? This is the classic. It comes with ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and egg on it as well. So everything mine does except for it's a different cheese and ham. Yeah. So, so good. good. We're back home. We got the jammy jams on. I gotta take my makeup off right now. Sorry, you guys are like in a cabinet. I need a hair tie. <laughs> um, we gotta take our makeup off, and that was the day today. It was honestly so much fun. I'm so happy we went. That castle was absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking, and then dinner was so awesome at our one of our favorite restaurants here. It was just a really really good night my battery is dying now so i guess that means i'm going to go ahead and end the video here i hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog and i hope that you liked seeing something a little bit different than our normal everyday routine if you guys did don't forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that red subscribe button for me yes mama come here he's talking so much more <laughs> and i will catch you guys in my next one bye you say hi to your camera? Mm -hmm.